what is up with you guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be fixing an issue on this scion right here uh, the, for some reason when the car is on we can't get it into gear so we're gonna find out what it is so basically when the car is on we can't shift it to any gear but when it's off we can then we can shift it to any gear so we're gonna find out i think i know what it is i'm gonna play some clips showing the difference between two sides and i believe it's the shifter cables so without further ado let's get to it all right so we're gonna have to be doing some work up here first I'm gonna remove the battery and then we're gonna re remove the air box. We're gonna get as much room as we can to get access to the cables, which are down here. I'll show you guys in a minute. But we need to take this out. I believe the battery and this, or probably just this. I don't know, we'll see. But we gotta remove that. I unplug this one also just in case since I'm doing some electrical on there I don't know just to be safe but anyways so this one right here has a Phillips Don't lose this. <laughs> okay, this is out of the way. It's good. We're gonna need some long pliers. Check this out, back here. Out. and like I said just try to make as much room as possible I don't know if I want to disconnect this one because this one's have some cooling in it so let's see if I can do with that one right there might take this up completely All 
right so after you make a lot of room i ended up disconnecting this guy right here it's just this two and the other one is somewhere in there and then there. a connector that's it so after you make some room you get, get access to the cables um what we need to remove next is these pins right here. Uh, can you guys see it? This one right here. Oh, let me focus. Yeah, that one right there, and the other one on the top, right here. This one. So we need to remove that, and that will give us access to the next point, which is this guys right here this ones and I'll show you what tool to use to remove those okay these pins are so easy to remove you can just do it by hand pretty much so I'm grabbing one right now and I'll just twist it and pull towards you that's it come out by the way I didn't remove the battery I hope that's not gonna be an issue later on the battery stay there so now we're gonna remove those guys right there those two back there so to remove those pins I highly recommend you to get one of this just like that this one will do it it will do really great I promise you <laughs> you won't have any headaches with this this will take it off So basically what you're gonna do is grab this guy grab it and start pulling and twisting at the same time Okay, so just twist it and pull, twist it and pull, and then you'll get them out. Twist it. And there you go. So you just twist it to the sides and pull, it comes right out. Don't forget to keep the washers very important okay now <clears throat> it should be just easy let me get you guys out of there it should be just very easy to get them out just like that there's one And there's two they're out and so by pulling them not actually pulling them but pushing them in and, and out see that in and out they're free now okay so now there's a few steps that we gotta do under the car and inside to complete this job. So stay tuned. So we're gonna lift the car up and put some jack stands on. All right guys, so now we're down here. The issue that I'm looking at is this pipe right here. Cause uh, as you can see the cable right over there and the piping, so I'll it's on the way but i'm thinking if we can remove this and get it out of the way without messing with the piping hey uh, i think we should be fine so let's try it out and see i'll let you guys know in a minute if it work it or not so let me try it out for a minute i'll be right back yeah so it's possible to take it out without taking the exhaust 
it's right there so yep now we got access to there that's what we needed access for so it is possible guys so for whoever is wondering there's three holding it the shield one two and the third one is right there three ten millimeter okay the last one i had to use a gear wrench 10 millimeter gear wrench to take it out because normal wrenches won't fit really good because the piping is in the way so but yeah there we have it this is po exposed now and i believe those up there are also 10 millimeter which are gonna be the ones that we're gonna be removing so these two right here we're just gonna take the whole bracket out these two right here 10 millimeter just get them out and that should be free of this from the chassis from down here and then we'll go inside and do the rest all right all right guys so those bolts are out then we got that and then on the inside we're gonna see these two right here they're holding it this one and this one and this is a water protection uh, what's it called like i forgot what it's called but it's made out of rubber <laughs> so it's just sealing this part so water won't go in and yeah so we have to remove these ones in the inside and do a lot of other things in the inside but everything over here it's ready to come out there we go that should make it ready and the cables are wet over there it's hanging out in there okay so now let's go to the inside and take everything apart everything that we need to take apart oh and another thing don't forget to use goggles or something when you're working down here because there's a lot of debris and dust and a lot of things that can go on your eyes and ruin your day so all right senores and senoritas so inside guess who's driving this car anyways we're gonna have to remove this this guy and probably this i'm not sure but we'll see but for sure this and probably this whole thing but for now let's just remove this okay all right and everything is out we do have to remove this guy completely because those bolts are all the way back there and we we definitely need all the room that we can get guys so these two right here two phillips and then a 10 millimeter inside here somewhere in that mess <laughs> And then we should be ready to remove this whole console thing. All right, so we got the console out of the way. And now we got to remove the, this pin right here and then the pin, which is on the bottom right there. Just with the flathead, should be easy to just pop it this way push it down and then unclips really simple and then unclip this and work in the back over there so we'll be doing that okay so after the pins are out like I said with a flat head you can just do it from here take it out this one you can just pull it with your finger and 
this guy's right here. Just pull him up. Be really careful. There we go. There's one out. I'm putting in everything in there. And so we should be able to just twist this and lift it up. getting a little hard to do with one hand all right we're gonna be removing this module right here it has one in here and two on the other side they're 12 millimeter I'm gonna be removing that and then we have the two back there I guess I'm gonna get some light to shine it but we got two back there they're holding the plate and then two that should be all all right senores y senoritas so back here is where those bolts are gonna be all the way back there let's see if i can do this There's one right there. That's the one. There's one there and the other one is in the other side. 10 millimeter. Gotta remove those. And the one in the back is gonna be a little bit hard. Just a little bit. But you get it eventually after 110 million turns, you get it out, my friend. So yeah, that's it, all right. Um, I will suggest you to use a gear ratchet for this. It's gonna be a lot easier with a gear ratchet, all right? All right, so the bolt that I was referring to is that one right there. And it goes into that plate right there, those two holes, and you literally have to remove the plate from there just go, out, go one at a time like remove it from this one first and then it will come out you have to use a flathead to remove it from its place which is back there just lift it lift it lift it a little bit until it comes off there's a rubber piece right there which also is shown in the, the bottom just remove that plate out get this out of the way now we should be able to just push this all the way down from the bottom okay all right so in order to remove the shifter cables you're gonna have to guide them all the way back there to the hole right back there. Make sure that you move the uh, plastic, the uh, rubber plastic thing, water stripper, I think it's called. Remove that first and then remove one line at a time from that hole back there. Let's see if you can see the, the hole. Let's make that right back there there we go just move one line at a time guide him all the way back there and then 
and you can push them from the top up here just guide them all the way over here and push them this way you also gonna need to go underneath so you can push them also once all right so like i was saying that water strip guide them all the way there the lines one at a time also guide them through the hole and then try to push it all the way to the engine and then from the top you're gonna start pushing it little by little and then everything comes out from that hole so just one line at a time little by little and be patient take your time and you'll get it out all right okay here we are again don't forget to add this uh, plate one at a time it's a little bit difficult but if you fit one then the other one should go right in don't forget this guys all right all right ladies and gentlemen in order to put that pin i had to remove this whole console right here putting it back now but it was a lot easier just to remove this instead of trying to put it to those holes right there yeah just remove this and stick that pin in there and call it a day the pin over there is also ready to go and i'm finishing up no me cansaré de repetirlo tú no me vencerás porque soy el príncipe Saiyajin guerrero all right, boys and girls. So to put that plate, you gotta be able to put it, like how do you took it off? Remember how do you took it off? And then you gotta put it the same way. See those little things right there? You gotta make sure that they go into the holes on that plate. And then when you bolt in it, start from this one and then put the other bolt that goes in there. That one right there. You start with this one, tie it a little bit, and then tie the other one, and then start tightening this one, and then that one. And then for better access, remove this, unplug this, and you got more access. And then you just gotta go like this. You gotta hold it with, with two fingers, and then go like that without losing it, and make sure the hole is in place and, and put it in. Of course, it's gonna be little than this one, but you just gotta do the two finger man, uh, method. And then just go in there and start tightening it with your fingers just a little bit, just like this. Little bit, little. Like three turns or something like that and then it's gonna be tight in there and then you put the other one gotta go the other side to do this one or if you can do it over here it's fine too but make sure you start with this one over here and then you go to that one okay you put the plate like it's supposed to go okay and then on the bottom so right here on the bottom everything is lined up this rubber piece right here it, it lines up as soon as you start tightening those bolts that's what they are these two right here this this one make sure that you put the nut on this bracket so it won't be moving anywhere just tighten just a little bit so it will get stayed in place and then everything is sealed just like a factory okay and that's that's the, that from from that side of the cables Okay. All right, so the installation is just the reverse of how you take it out. Make sure that you pay attention to all the, the clips, how all of, them, all, of, all of them go. And install everything like you took it off. I usually don't put everything back because I like to test before I 
put everything back and make sure that everything is working fine and over here i got a quick tip for the cables shifter cable you can use on wd-40 on this one right here because the the grommet doesn't come out is this whole part comes out without this so you can use some wd-40 and then click it on one side and then jiggle it around and then press it down and it's gonna go in really easy with some wd-40 okay and that's that's all there is to it i'm gonna test it out and show you guys the final results oh here we go guys testing it everything is going well still have to put everything back gears are going like they should and yep i'm gonna wrap up this video by saying um, like share subscribe and see you guys in the next one peace out take care guys waiting for the red one to change there we go see you guys in the next one bye